On this dish trip, we celebrate Southwest Airlines' 40th anniversary by going to one of the first cities that they provided service to, San Antonio, Texas. Come along with us as we spend one day exploring the flavors of this city with the dish trip crew, Amy, Jason, and Gary. All right, we have arrived in San Antonio and our official dish trip starts tomorrow with a full day of eating, but we thought we'd start our celebrating tonight with a drink from one of Garrett's favorite places. He's from a local food blog called San Antonio Joe. Thank you so much for meeting us. Oh, no sweat. I'm glad y'all could get here. So why is this place special to you? They have a drink called the Doserita. Okay. And so what the Doserita is, it's a big schooner of margarita. All right. Which we love in San Antonio, love margaritas. Okay. And then you'll get a Dos Equis flipped over on top of it. Oh, nice. So it's a beer and margarita. Now there's tequila in it too. Oh, total tequila margarita. Okay. okay. Bunch of tequila. Okay, good. And then the beer is just flipped over and you, it's amazing. You would never thought that beer and margarita would be good, but this is really, really good. I've done some nights where I've mixed the two, but not like this. We're about to, to meet some of Garrett's friends. So we're going to get some queso and some doceritas. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Cheers. This is to the coolest margarita ever. <laughs> All right, so Garrett took us to another place. Okay, you're at Chacho's, the home of the King Kong nachos. <laughs> now, when it's time to order the King Kong nacho, they're going to look at you like you're, you're crazy. It comes with four different cheeses, Okay. four different meats, Beef fajita, chicken fajita, shredded chicken, and pico dio, which is like um, ground beef. Okay. And you get this huge plate of um, nachos with queso, sour cream, guacamole, all sorts of different sauces. And what you do as you're eating it, if you get sick of your section, you say, rotate. And you gotta rotate it. <laughs> and then you get your new part of the nachos. It's amazing. I love it. It's like a lazy Susan of nachos. That's it. That's okay. it. So we just got our order of our King Kong nachos, which has four different types of meat, two different types of cheese. And if that's not enough cheese for you, we've also got a bowl of queso dipping cheese. So you can dip your cheese nachos into your cheese. <laughs> Okay, so the best thing about Chacho's besides the King Kong nachos is that they have a salsa bar. So we got some mild and hot right over here, a cilantro cream sauce, an avocado cream sauce, a salsa fuego, roasted salsa, which gives it that kind of like darkest brown color. Got some pico de gallo for some nice spice. And then, this is my friend Carla's favorite, it is a mango pico de gallo. So the little mango gives a little bit of sweet with the spicy. Great stuff to get. You gotta get a ton of sauces when you get your King Kong nachos. Hello guys. Hi there. How are y'all doing? Good, how are you? Good, I'm doing great. Welcome to Blanket Cafe. Thank you so much. We've heard so much about it and I just want everyone to know that this has been talked about by all the locals as one of the best places to come for breakfast when you're in San Antonio. And we're in the original location. Yes, correct. And um, tell us, why is this place known for its best breakfast? Well, we are, we are known famously for chilaquiles, but mostly for our enchiladas. Okay. Um, this is the country sausage that Perfect. I was talking about. Okay, I it's, can't wait to try that a, one. It's in a thick uh, gravy sauce. Okay, okay. beautiful. And it has beans and potatoes, and they're over easy eggs. Do you, you put beans pepper. in with it? I do, I mix it all up. You do a little bit of this, and potatoes too? And potatoes. And then you just dive into it. Yeah. I'm probably not doing this very well. Mmm. Wow, that is super good. This is why you're the best. We are at La Gloria, which is located in Pearl Brewery, and we're here with Chef Johnny, who is the rock star behind all of these bubbling, amazing things on the table in front of us right now. What is the story behind this restaurant and the concept of it? After about seven or eight years of traveling through Mexico, that I really started getting an appreciation for the food. So I told myself, whenever I get ready to open up my restaurant, it's going to be very interior focused. Yep. And we want to really capture, you know, the essence of the food that is most original, right? In flavor and technique. So that La Gloria is the uh, bits and pieces of all my favorite food items, street foods of all of Mexico. Well, in front of you, you have a sope. That's okay. a sope, sope de cebrada. Okay. This has a shredded beef that we season with uh, chile pasilla and chile ancho. You know, most of the food items. Throughout our menu, 
are meant to be picked up and eaten. But, oh. no, but go ahead. No, no, no. That's You're going about it the right way. Are you sure? No, I'm, I'm positive. Okay. This is our next one that we're going to give a shot. So it looks like a fried and it's filled with something. Filled with black beans. Black beans. Black beans. So this comes from, from the Yucatan area. Okay. And they're called panuchos. Panucho? This, panuchos. And those, are, this one in particular has cochinita pibil. The shredded pork that has a little bit of sour orange. It has some aromatics. Ooh. Okay. And then we have, uh, right in front of you, we have a molcajete. This is, this is a cauldron of meat. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it is. No, I'm just kidding. What no, is no, it? No, no, but <laughs> this, uh, this is a very traditional uh, inside skirt. This is simmered with, in chile pasilla, Ooh. which is probably my, my favorite chili of all time. Okay. Very kind of chocolatey, smoky. What kind of rock is this? This is a, it's called basalto, okay. and it is a volcanic stone. Are you allowed to put the cheese with that? You know, it, it, people do Can that. Can I do that? Yes. And I'm just going to put it in with my other... Oh, man. No? Yes. No, that's beautiful. Yeah, Johnny, are we doing okay? Do you see this? Do you see what I'm doing here? <laughs> I'm taking one thing of bubbling cheese, and I'm putting it together <laughs> you got it. with a you thing of bubbling meat. Yeah, you're in heaven now. And we're going to wrap yeah. it up. <laughs> This is a super girly drink, so tell me about. I mean, it looks girly. I'm sure it that it, I'm sure that it's very manly. Also, <laughs> this is this is just a summer vacation right here with the ceviches and this drink. Okay. And let me set you up. Yeah, show me how we do this. So one. I'll set you up. Thank God you're here. This is uh, from the coast of like Sonora. This is famous in that area. This sauce has serrano peppers. I'll put mm. very little, but it's mild. Also, it's hot. Okay. Very mild. We take the seeds out. You know, a perfect so. bite <laughs> by Chef Johnny. <laughs>
from Philadelphia with love and you have your little cozy and the beer inside of it. And so that is for you from our friends at Victory Brewing Company. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Sure. Well, thank you all. Good luck. <laughs> thank you so much. Of course, for this dish trip to San Antonio, we can't forget the Alamo. Remember the Alamo, not... Remember the Alamo. Okay. We can't forget the Alamo. All right, guys, you can't forget the Alamo. So, we can't forget the Alamo. There it is. You can't forget the Alamo. Is it remember? Yes, remember. Remember the Alamo, guys. Ugh. Never forget the Alamo. No, remember the Alamo. <laughs> what am I doing? Never forget the Alamo. Remember the Alamo. <laughs> What is it? What is it saying? Never forget. Remember. Okay. Can I pop in and just say? No, we're not going We can't do it because neither of us know it. Behind us is the shrine to Texas freedom, and remember, the Alamo. I'm gonna go home. Join us for our next dish trip and follow us online at dishtrip.com.